today I'm making a Mexican recipe for you. It is garlic shrimp tostadas, one of my very favorites. And I'm gonna be making this with a secret ingredient, all right? You're not gonna find this, in, most restaurants don't do it, but I'm gonna do it, and it's just gonna make your, it's just gonna make your tostada fantastic. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. What do you call a woman who likes Mexican food? Taco Bell. To start off our recipe, we're gonna make our own tostada shells. Now you can buy them in the store if you want, but I'm gonna show you how to make them, it's simple. You wanna buy organic corn tortillas. Why? Because, well, you don't have glyphosate in there and it's non-GMO. And we're gonna cook these in avocado oil because, well, it's much healthier for you. I'm filling a small frying pan with about a half an inch deep of avocado oil here. And we're gonna put it on medium heat and get it hot. You can actually see the oil starting to smoke a bit. We want the temperature to be close to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna take a tortilla and place it right in the oil and it should bubble up right away. And I'm gonna cook this, flipping the tortilla over very frequently until it gets nice and crispy and golden brown. You wanna drain off any excess oil and then place it onto a paper towel covered plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up about three more tostada shells for my dinner. Just make sure you get these nice and crispy like these are. Next up, I'm using wild-caught frozen shrimp. This makes for easy work as these are already peeled and deveined. All you have to do to defrost these is pour them in a colander and rinse them under cold water until they're soft. This usually takes between three and five minutes. Now this is important. Since they were frozen, there's a lot of water in these. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you spread them out on some paper towels and pat them dry really well with paper towels on top. Now I do this a couple of times to make sure that I get all the moisture out of these. Now I'm gonna make a simple dressing of olive oil here and apple cider vinegar, equal amounts of both. Make sure to give the apple cider vinegar a shake so that you mix up the mother and it's equally distributed. Then we'll finish it off with some garlic powder, some salt, and some black pepper. So we'll just blend this up and it'll be ready to go when we're ready for it. I like to store my dressing in a mason jar and it should keep for about a week in the refrigerator. Now back to our shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and place it into a bowl and we're gonna add a ton of garlic to this. I've got about eight to 10 cloves here and you, you, know, you can't use too much in my view. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this through a garlic press and just cut it off into the bowl with a knife. I'm gonna season up the shrimp with a little bit of ancho chili powder, which has a nice smoky flavor and it's not too spicy hot. And here I'm gonna add some red chili flakes for just a little more heat. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil, just enough to coat it all. And then grab a couple of spoons and give this a toss. So we're gonna let this marinate while we chop up everything for our salad. So for our salad, I bought a premix of iceberg and romaine lettuce with some carrots and cabbage and, and radishes. Now you wanna use iceberg and or romaine lettuce because you want it to be a crunchy lettuce. Now the way this salad mix came, the pieces were really large and so I had to chop it up and make it smaller. It just makes for a nicer tostada. And then I'll place this in a salad bowl. Next goes some bright red grape tomatoes that I'm gonna cut into smaller pieces. Next, we're gonna be chopping up some jalapeno, adding some fresh lime juice, green onion, and cilantro. I've rinsed my organic green onions and then I'm just gonna chop up the green part and toss that in. Now here's how you wanna chop up your cilantro after you rinse it off. I shave off the leaves to minimize the stems and then we'll just chop it up. Now how about a little jalapeno for a little bit of heat? I keep the heat mild by removing the seeds and the membrane here, but if you like it spicy, go ahead and leave all that in. Now I go for the super fine dice here and I just think it's so much better that way. A little bit in every bite. If you cut your strips really thin like this, then when you, once you go to chop it up, it's very quick and easy. Then I like to sprinkle on what I think is the appropriate amount. 
I'm also going to prep up some katia cheese here. This comes solid, so I'm just going to break it up with my hand so that I can crumble this over the top of my tostadas. You really have to smash this cheese to cr make it crumble, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. Now it's time to mix up this beautiful salad. Look at all these colors. It's magnificent. And then we'll be ready to cook up our shrimp because everything comes together now very quickly. It must be time for chef joke number two. Did you hear there's a Mexican version of Harper Lee's classic novel? It's called Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> Before I start cooking the shrimp, I'm gonna place those tostada shells into a very low temperature oven just to keep them warm. I'm preheating a cast iron pan over medium high heat and I'm adding a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Let's get that hot. We'll swirl the oil once it gets hot and then we'll lay those little shrimp in. When you lay that first shrimp in, if you don't hear a sizzle, then you should wait until the oil gets a little hotter before adding the rest. Once you lay all the shrimp in the pan, it's only going to take about two minutes at most to cook them before you turn them over. Notice all those bits in the pan with the shrimp? Well, that's the garlic. And that is going to cook up and be nice little crunchy, garlicky bits that you're going to want to make sure you eat because they're delicious. Once the shrimp have cooked another one and a half minutes on the second side, you're going to take them out and place them on a plate and we're ready to start preparing this dish. Okay, there's one last thing we have to do here to serve this up and that is to make a little bit of avocado mash. So we're just going to scoop some avocado into a bowl Mash it up with the masher, add some salt, mash it up, and of course you know that the avocado needs salt for flavor, right? So add enough, then I'm going to sprinkle in some of that diced jalapeno that I cut up earlier. My intention here is not to make guacamole, but just to make a nice avocado mash with some flavor. Then I'll finish it off with a little drizzle of some fresh lime juice, and we're good to go. Grab a warm tostada shell and add some of that avocado mash to it and spread it and make a nice, reasonably thick layer. Add on some shrimp. Now I figured about five per tostada, but that depends on how big the shrimps are and how much you want to have, so you decide. Now we're going to add that beautiful salad and our secret ingredient. I talked about that in the beginning of the video. That is our dressing. Most restaurants don't put dressing on tostadas. Why they don't, I have no idea, but it takes your tostada over the top. When my dad had his restaurant, we definitely put dressing on our tostadas and they were absolutely amazing. Then I'll finish this off with a nice little sprinkle of cotilla cheese. I am betting that if you make this tostada, you are gonna say it is the best tostada you've ever had. It's crunchy, that shell is absolutely crunchy. You've got that, you've got the creamy avocado mash with the shrimp that has a little spice to it and all the salad dressing, which just ties it all together. This is incredible. This recipe deserves to go viral. I wish everybody who sees this, makes it, tries it, will share it so everybody can try it. After you try these tostadas, you're gonna wanna try my Berea tacos. They are fantastic. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the recipe. All right, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leaving me a comment, all right? And share this video if you know somebody who loves Mexican food. I'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.